Hi guys and welcome back to Water Restoration as you join me here in the comfort of one of our lovely Mark III coaches. However, today's video is going to be about our current steam locomotive, Swordfish. So today we're going to be speaking to the owner, Ricky, who's very kindly let me go for a few rides on the footplate, as well as uh, some shots and a little bit of history about it as well. Um, and as I say, yeah, some shots of it uh, running up and down the line. Later on in the video, I've done a little edit of um, uh, some footage to make it look a bit more old fashioned. I'm quite pleased with how it came out, so hopefully you enjoy that as well. But as always guys, if you do enjoy this content, please do hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time here. And of course, any feedback, leave it in the comment section below. So with that, let's get into today's video. Built by Andrew Barclay Works in 1941, this 060 saddle tank number 2138 started its working life on loan to Stanton Ironworks before later being purchased by the ironworks themselves in 1947. Three years later in 1950, ownership was passed on to Stuarts and Lloyd when they purchased the quarries from Stanton Ironworks in January of that year. Swordfish, who was named after a submarine lost during the war in 1940, spent a life working in quarries before being replaced by diesel power in early 1962. In August of 1962, the loco was bought by the Goodman brothers whose plans to export the loco abroad fell through, thus meaning it sat in the scrapyard for 18 years before being purchased by members of the Quainton Railway Society based at the Buckinghamshire Railway Centre. Most recently in 2022, the loco was purchased by current owner Ricky Plummer and has since spent the last season on loan at the Calm Valley Railway. Ricky recently visited us to take his loco for some runs up and down the line, so I took this opportunity to find out more about why he stepped into this venture. Uh, my name's Ricky Plummer. Um, I'm a retired uh, GWR train driver. Used to be at Paddington. Uh, used to drive HSTs. Did uh, 18 years of HSTs. Uh, retired in uh, 2021. Bought myself a steam locomotive. A swordfish. I came up for sale and um, had a quick look at it at Swindon and Cricklade Railway where it was and managed to come to an agreement and paid a goodly sum of money for it and it was mine. Even although I'm a diesel driver uh, at work, uh, steam is what I really know. Uh, I've been doing that since about 85. So my whole life's been revolved around the steam mainly, um, more so than, than what I did for a living. It actually ended back up at Quainton Road um, after it was uh, not being used at, at a colliery and it sat there for quite a few years uh, and the slow progress, it gradually got refurbed, um, ended up uh, with the previous owner uh, and his father, Chris Denton, actually got it back on, onto the rails um, and um, it did its first on the major rebuild and uh, I bought it after it done its seventh year in ticket so we've got three years or oh, when i bought the engine we had three years left to to go around the country and go to railways such as the Colm valley railway here and uh in october the locomotive was coming out of traffic and we're going to be uh, giving it its 10-year overhaul uh, the locomotive goes around different 
different sites and it gets seen by um, other rail enthusiasts you know who are operational and they get to know the engine inside and out I mean they know it really well at the Colne Valley because we've had it here a season uh, already in 23 and um, it's been it hasn't set a foot wrong I mean it's, it's um, we've had a few small little niggles but that happens with any steam engine but by and large it's been really reliable um, and uh, the crews report back and say yes it's it's um, it's really enjoyable to crew. Yeah, I think there are lots of places I'd like to go to. I'm not sure whether the loco really is the type is the right type of loco to go on these bigger lines. I mean, it would be amazing to see it on, on the West Somerset and Seven Valley and Swanage, and but um, it has its limitations. And I think it's quite good at certain certain parts of of um, operational duties. So small lines like Colne Valley Railway, uh, it's a mile um, just. Um, to and fro in is perfect for it. Um, driver experiences that they do at uh, Colne Valley is very popular. People come up and pay to, to come and drive the engine for uh, a session, um, and that's very popular. Um, they've got HSTs here, they're doing the same thing. Um, we've got to generate income for, for the loco, or the railway's got to generate income for the railway, and getting an engine in that can cope with that is, is quite it's quite important, but um, yeah, it would be nice to see it on some bigger railways, but um, it's the transportation cost as well, uh, getting it there. Uh, you're probably talking two and a half, three thousand pounds or some, some routes. It's a lot of money to try and find. So after chatting with Ricky, I took the opportunity to jump on board for some trips along the line. And whilst in the Grizzly coach, I got the chance to catch up with our head of guards to talk about how operations work with our push-pull set and what responsibilities the guard has when it's in use. Hi, I'm Tony Peterson. I'm the head guard on the Colne Valley Railway. And my role is to assess the guards and to actually support the guards with their duties and also, like today, be the guard on the day. Basically, the engine is at one end of the coaches, and from there, it, it going in one direction, it's pushing us, and the other direction, it pulls us along. When being pushed, the guard's job is to sit at this end of the train and watch the road as because the driver cannot see what is ahead of him. So I, it is my responsibility to stop the train using the emergency brake and I've got a button for a horn, etc. So I can do things and if something happens in front of us. Without Swordfish, we would have been without a steam engine or we would have had to rent it in a, a different engine because our own engine is out of ticket and we have in our engineering department we're rebuilding uh, another engine where it's almost ready for its boiler hydraulic test so hopefully by the end of the se this season it will be ready for running and next season we'll have our own engine back running.
So guys, that is where we're going to leave it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little insight into our current on hire steam locomotive swordfish. And of course, if you want to come and visit it yourself, it'll be here for the remainder of this season before it goes out for its 10 year overhaul. But as always guys, if you did enjoy this content, please do hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to leave any feedback in the comment section down below. And of course, if this is your first time here, please do subscribe. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.